Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy and I help people with their breakups. And today I have another breakup story to share. And if you have a breakup story you'd like to share, please visit writemac.com, W-R-I-T-E-M-A-C.com. Send your story in and I possibly will do a YouTube video just like this. If you'd like to take it to the next step, I do live coaching on FaceTime or Google Hangouts. If you like the video, throw me a like. You got a comment to help this individual, put it down below. And if you really like the video, maybe consider subscribing. Let's get into it. So, hi Mac, I think I want to start with this later and get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. All right, if you want to take it a step further, let's do it. I haven't had a bad one yet. Cross my fingers, right? Thanks for promptly returning my email for having an awesome channel with great content. I appreciate it. It's taken a lot of time and a lot of work, actually. I think I have 450 videos plus. That's not including the live coaching sessions I've done on my own or the private video responses. Anyone else hasn't done that out here, the private video response, you can make a private YouTube video that I do, and that's a paid service, uh, and a lot of people are happy with that too. Six and a half years ago, I met the love of my life. Well, good for you. She is now 48, I'm 47. We had the best relationship I've ever been in. She was a single mom of two boys, and I'm a single dad of one son who I have full custody of. Well, that, isn't that a privilege? Good for you, man. Uh, so you have some things to relate to each other. Um, you're the sim a year apart in your late 40s. Good for you, man. The sex, communication, and overall vibe was great, even though we both struggled financially. Dun, dun, dun. You know, being in your late 40s and both having kids and struggling financially, that could put a strain on your relationship. And you, need, you probably need to make that paramount, being parents. And I'm not judging you. I don't know your struggles or how you came about that. And financially, the world could be tough sometimes. But focus on that area and see where you can possibly make more money or make more. A lot of times people look to save. And I've read a book on this before. And it's just like you're constantly looking to save, save money. And then you forget about how do I make more money? And I'm not saying this is true about you. I've just noticed this about a lot of people um, they're in lack all the time and they're constantly in lack and I've been there before also by the way um, and they don't switch their mind people that make money they think about making money first I'm not telling you to be frivolous but I think you know my point when her sons graduated school she had to sell her house okay I am a contractor so I did the repairs for free and advised her on what to do okay cool she got a nice windfall from the sale that she wouldn't have got without my services she moved in with a friend until she could purchase another house. Her friend is notorious for not committing to relationships. Okay, ding, ding, ding. This is, where, this is where it gets interesting, right? Bottom line is you're not gonna change her friends. You're not gonna change her mind about her friends. That's her responsibility. It has nothing to do with, um, you know, a lot of times, oh, the friend was this, the, the parent was this. You're probably not gonna change that relationship. You're not gonna talk them like, hey, they're always trying to, get you to do this this and this friends come with the relationship and the way messages from the friends are received and re how should I say this if the individual is receptive to the friend you're not really going to change that usually you can blame the friend all you want but that doesn't change the situation as soon as she moved in she began to change I passed it off as depression due to empty nest and selling a house that she loved that's a big fucking deal. If that was the house that she raised her kids in and moving is a change of environment, a change of mindset, and really you're lost because when you enter a house that you've been into many times, you have habits. You have your place where you like to read, you know, you get your coffee or do different things. And so when you move into a new place, if it's not the place you loved, yeah, it's going to take some time and it's going to alter your um your mood for sure I passed it off I offered to move in so she could save those but I don't know what save those is but she declined and said she wanted to wait on my son to graduate before we moved in okay fair enough don't push something like that that's a big deal you asked she should have probably asked herself if she was interested but she denied it let it go December 4 2018 she wanted to wait um, she came over to my house and broke up with me, citing trivial reasons for the breakup and kept saying she wasn't happy. I am devastated. Fucking strong word, devastated. Um, so this is, this is really where you write your story out and possibly you mentioned doing a live coaching session to get some clarity. 
What the live coaching session does is we unpack things in an hour to two hours. A lot of times it's two hours. And by the end of it, people feel like they basically threw up everything that was inside of them that they've been t playing tennis with or ping pong with, back and forth, back and forth, wondering. And we just examine and break down everything and reframe it. Because a lot of times you don't know the answer, but you're framing it wrong. And what I mean by framing it, you're, you're telling yourself, well, she just met someone else. Not you, buddy. But some, some people out there, oh, she just, well, you don't know that, right? We need to reframe that to she's in no contact right now and we don't want to know what she's doing rather than, oh, I assume that she's with someone. I've reached out a couple of times in the last month. Well, you, you, what you need to discuss with me is what were the trivial reasons. We need to unpack that. She didn't pick up my phone call and didn't return my text where I simply said I was ready to talk when she was. Um, just leave it alone now. You've already made that offer. Stop pestering her. Um, I, know you're, I know there's open loops to the story and you want to close it. And tr the trivial reasons are reasons you're not accepting and you're not believing. But I would need to know what they were. I've heard from mutual friends that she's over me and will never come back. I mean, it's possible. That you don't want to get on hearsay. That's, that's, that's not going to serve you moving forward. Four months earlier, she said she loved me more than any man she had ever been with. One thing that's missing from the story is how long you were together, how long you were together. So that's the part I'm a little confused on. If you were together for two years, three years, four years, that makes a difference. The, the quicker you fall in love and the, the harder you fall, if you get, fall in love in two months, it's very easy to fall out of love. You know, the, it counts how long you were together. <clears throat> Please help. I'm in a bad state of mind because I thought we would be together forever. No one's together forever. Think about that. Nothing lasts forever. Riches, greatness, good moods, bad moods, nothing in this world lasts forever. Always remember that, man. That's why you always got to be an independent, confident individual and reassess things like you're doing right now. And writing this story and getting this out there to someone like myself is a good first step. Right now you're in a solution base and that's going to help you. Friends and family are shocked. Regardless of what friends and family feel, I'm, I'm more worried about you and what you're going to do. So... I would definitely suggest a live coaching session and for everyone else out there, when I do a live coaching session, I offer a full refund if it's not helpful or useful. I do not guarantee getting your ex back, but a helpful and useful conversation moving forward, absolutely. And I wouldn't want to have your money if it was any other way. And I haven't had a refund yet, but I, I offer that. She, right now you just need to give it space and you're having trouble dealing with these trivial reasons. So that would be something we'd have to talk about, and you haven't really elaborated on that. In the meantime, do not call her and keep telling her, anytime you want to talk, we can talk. Or I thought we were going to be forever. Hold back from doing that. Stay off all social media, because social media can be deadly on your mindset, because you're just constantly creating new stories. So stay off that. Any pictures of her? Uh, at this point, don't ask friends for any info, because it's just not going to help you. So... <clears throat> Anyone else out there, please visit rightmac.com. Send in your story. If not, you'd like to do a, a live coaching session, skip that and go all in. That's available also. Thank you for supporting the channel.